I'm Jimmy alongside Chuck, and we're going to talk a little MLS, and we're going to start with their midweek games. There's a whole bunch of midweek games, and I don't know which one stands out for you, but I want to talk about Inter-Miami versus Nashville, Chuck. And this game was 0-0, so this is the first time that Leo Messi has not had a goal or an assist in a game for his MLS club. And the first time that he's played in a game where, obviously, they haven't scored. Now, what I find interesting about this matchup, so he's played 10 games now. They've played 10 games in 41 days. That's a lot. And and uh, I know he came off the bench against New York mm. and had a sick pass and, and to Kramaski and, and tap in there. And he came off, played 30 minutes, started this one against Nashville. I was actually pretty surprised because I thought, hey, they've already played Nashville once, but maybe he wants to play all the home games, whatever it's it may home. be. Yeah, it's home. The one thing I wanted to add to this, I thought Nashville were good. They were solid. They looked a lot more organized than they did in that 3-3 Leagues Cup game. This is the first time, Chuck, that Inter-Miami has played another team twice. And they played another team twice that is always very organized behind the ball under Gary Smith. They conceded 70% possession, but it didn't feel like Miami were all that threatening in a way that you would expect with Messi and the team. And Messi looked a little bit off of it, to be honest. I thought some of his touches were a little loose. Now, I'm obviously holding this guy to the highest standard because he shows us what he's capable of on the regular, and he makes the impossible look easy. So so this is no knock on Messi. He, of course, is going to get tired because I think he's a human being. Mm. But what I find interesting is they have, they have 22 points now, Chuck, with 10 games to go. Yep. And over the last three seasons, the ninth-place team, has earned around 43 points, which means they're going to have to get 20 points to get close to that over the last 10 games. I just don't know if that's going to happen because he's going to miss a couple games for international duty with Argentina. They got some World Cup qualifiers. They also have to travel over to LA, which you know just adds to the, the amount of time that they're spending things that can make you tired. I'm going to that game this weekend, so if you see me, everybody, come say hi. And... Uh, I, I just don't know if they're going to be able to do it. Also, of those last 10 games. Did you get, did you get me two tickets? I didn't. I, I got. I I, uh, I didn't. Sorry, Chuck. No, I said, if I if I needed two tickets, could you get me two tickets? I'm not, no, not at this juncture. <laughs> 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 I wow, I, thanks I, for the hookup. No, God. I, I had to was, work hard to actually, get my own. I'm going yes, by myself, dude. I'm it was going actually, by myself. It was actually for my brother. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Uh, but no. Uh, but but so I want to say this. Let me let me tie yeah. in the one thought that I had. Of their last 10 games, they're going to play teams in six of those 10 that they've already played once. And I feel like once you've got the messy experience down and you've already lived <laughs> through it, I don't think you're going to be at, let's say nervous, but I think you're going to be a little bit more comfortable with with the circus that, that goes with it <laughs> and, and how the referees call games and all that good stuff. Honestly, I just think it's going to make it harder for Miami. Stop I, it. I thought for sure they were going to get in the playoffs, but I'm not so sure anymore because he's going to miss some games. And so are some of his teammates due to international duty. And I just think other teams are going to set up shop like Nashville, take the tie and move on. Right. There's no winners in this one. Cause it's not leagues cup or playoffs or whatever. Mm. Uh, go ahead, dude. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, go ahead. Well, Jim, you seem Jim, like you're ready to bite my head off. Go, go, go. I am it. because <laughs> I, I, I asked for two tickets and it wasn't even, a, let me see what I can do. It's because I've been well, asked by like ask. a thousand people, Chuck. No, it's, it's not, there was not even a, a, a hint of, let me try. <laughs> To, to get you two tickets. My guy, Charlie's asking me for two tickets. I don't even know if it's for him. Maybe it is for him. Maybe it's for someone else. I don't know. But you just went, nah. Nope. Before I even finished, you said, nope. Listen, you don't understand. Yeah. You don't understand that what? I'm, from, I'm from LA. This. And, and I had made mention to my friends down there and family that I'm coming. And I've just been hit up countless times for, for hey, Let's get I, my, I, I had to, I didn't even get a ticket. I had, I got a credential. So, so I'm, wor I'm working like the media angle. I'm there to, I'm there to quote unquote work Chuck. So in terms of getting tickets, I actually didn't even get tickets myself. I should have just said that. Cause now, now you and your family hate me. So it's no, <laughs> it, it's just, I, I can't even just, I, I can't rack my brain around just the 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 lack of being a teammate, the lack of, of <laughs> assistance from you, shocking. Uh, but you are a center back. I guess it makes sense. Um, oh, here we go. And to answer Brant's question before about uh, kicking it, that starts September twentieth. So um, wait, who's your first interview on kicking it? Thierry Henry. 
We did wow. it's, it's, so the first interview, but it's two parts because it's a, it's a whoa, it's a long interview. So and it's all. Well, just, I mean, if you can have time with Terry on me, you don't want to cut him off, you know. Exactly. Uh, but this is my take on LAFC, and this is why yeah. LAFC or Inter Miami. Inter Miami playing LAFC. Oh, got it. Go ahead. So my brother was like, "Hey, what do you think about you know me going to 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 the game?" Because my brother lives in San Diego. My parents live in San Diego as well, and I said. To be honest, if I'm Tata Martino, I'm not traveling Messi to this game. I'm not traveling Busquets, Messi, or Alba. This is a what? West- I I'm this working is- hard to listen, get there. Dude. Listen, <laughs> I know, I know. I, I I hope he plays, and I and I hope that people who are going get to see Messi play. But this is my take. It's a Western Conference game, right? If you lose, this isn't a six pointer, and it's it's cross country. You just went through a gauntlet through League's Cup. I get you, it. You finished with U.S. Open Cup. You're, it's you win a trophy, you get to a final. There's all this emotion. You come home to play Nashville. You you already played one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. This is the game where you say, guys, take a take a, a rest, take a break, relax, be with your families, take some downtime, and then we get to to play a Kansas City te- team that's not good, and then we go through the gauntlet of Atlanta, you know. Uh, uh, Toronto, Orlando, and then you go through that, and that's where you start to pick. You try and pick up the points, but if you're gonna take a break, this is the only place that you can take a break because everything else is six pointer after six pointer because you're playing Eastern Conference games and you're all you're trying to take points away from teams that you're competing with. You also have Open Cup final, right? The throw in there. Boom. Well. That, that's just our league, the league schedule that we saw. Up so there tell, the tell me, this ain't the time to take that break. Oh, I get that, but. Don't you feel like leaving his energy aside that he has a contractual obligation to at least be on the sideline? I know that you want to just keep him at home, let him relax, but yo, they signed him for a reason. I I assume there's some stipulations. I know, but that- he he hasn't. Busquets, Alba, and Messi have not experienced that five six hour flight. Come on, dude, All- they're, they're flying. Private not, now they could get massages yeah, on the way over. It, it, it doesn't matter. It travels, Personal chefs travel. and massages. Do, making that commitment across country, and then you know the Matt. This is their first time having to do that. Think about it. They play in Spain. That's a two-hour flight max. Well, We're talking six hours. Maybe Boom. They played Shakhtar Donetsk or after, something. After after yeah. a crazy gauntlet. Now, I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, if if there was ever a chance, and it made sense. This would be the time to take that rest. He better play, dude. I'm playing <laughs> down on the freaking house. Now, now the Davies family is like, I hope he doesn't play because he yeah. didn't get his tickets. He didn't get his tickets. <laughs> What's crazy, too, is that the bookies have Inter Miami as the second favorites to win MLS Cup, which is absolutely hilarious because they have so much work to do to even get into the playoffs. What's going to be crummy, though, for crummy is such a, such a dad word when you're around kids, you don't want to cuss. But what's crummy? <laughs> is that if if it's where I have get the ninth spot, if you're the number one seed, which is probably going to be Cincinnati because they're clearing it right now, they already qualified and and they're well on their way to winning the supporter shield. No, take it. The, yeah, <laughs> take, they take the end of the season. <laughs> you're like, uh, we don't want to be the number one seed. We, we <laughs> we're gonna. It's not, a, it's not a benefit to be the number one seed it's anymore. It's not. Not if Inter Miami are coming in and uh, <laughs> going to be the number nine seed. So that's going to suck for whoever that is because. We've already seen them. Think about it. Well. Chicago and Montreal are nowhere near as good as Inter Miami right now. And if Inter Miami missed the playoffs, it's just such a shame. Think about that. Like DC, Charlotte, DC, Chicago, Montreal, just really lack uh, quality. No, they when do. Comparing they do. Well, yeah. when you compare them to them, <laughs> yeah, of course. 